No, I thought uh, we were ready to play Friday night. Obviously, a, a big uh, weekend for our team, uh, just given this early season standings and whatnot. But I thought our guys did a real good job uh, preparing to play. And I, I know we talk about that a lot, but it, it's so important. Uh, it's a fine line between winning and losing. And it's so important that you get yourself prepared to play and uh, have the energy and just the mental preparation going into the weekend. But I thought we were ready to play Friday. Uh, not much was going on the uh, first 10 minutes, but as the game wore on the first period, uh, we got some chances, and obviously we got a big goal uh, to give us the lead. And, and that's one of the keys. We didn't play without the lead for much on the weekend, uh, just a little bit in the second period on Saturday. But Friday, overall, good game. Thought we had a lot of guys play well. Uh, we're fighting some injuries this time of year, and we had some key guys out of the lineup. And I really liked how the uh, other guys came in and, and picked up the slack. Yeah, Saturday, you know, similar to um, – Friday's game, you know, I thought we got off to a good start. We got a, a power play goal early, um, got us the lead, and uh, and then it was uh, an even game from that point on, uh, you know, through most of the second period. Uh, what I liked about our game Friday, uh, Saturday night is obviously our, our penalty killing again. Um, you know, we, we got behind 2-1 for the first time all weekend in the second period, and they had some opportunities. I think they had uh, four power plays in the second period and, and they had a chance to extend their lead and I thought that was a real key time um, on in Saturday's game is our Pentecost did a great job and not allowing them to get that two goal lead and I thought that was critical and once we finally got five on five near the end of the pen, uh, period uh, we got a big goal uh, our team stayed focused they stayed into the game they weren't worried about the the penalties and we did a good job killing them and then when we got five on five, we got a huge goal. And, and uh, to me, that was maybe the key, uh, key play of the whole weekend. You know, Gavin Gould's been a, a, a good player, uh, you know, last few years in junior hockey. I think this year the, the biggest change for him was learning how to have to play defensively. And not that he didn't in junior hockey, but uh, here, you know, every goal is so important. And you're not, you, goals are hard to come by, so you, you can't give them up as easily. And I thought last week in a Michigan State, uh, Gavin struggled a little bit uh, with the whole game, the grittiness, the defensive play. I uh, got an opportunity again this weekend because of the injuries, and I thought he played much, much better defensively, blocking shots, uh, taking care of the puck. Uh, and then obviously he, he, he got some offense. You know, he got a couple goals. I don't think he shot either one into the net but uh, they don't I told him they don't ask you how they just ask you how many but it's good to see Gavin get off uh, off to a, a good start like that on the weekend and, and chip in offensively but more importantly play well defensively As for Jackson, trying to get around, shoot, score! Um, I think uh, just skating as hard as I can you know trying to beat defensemen wide me and coach Chuchuk have been um, working on uh, protecting the puck when I'm coming down the wall and you know, shooting, shooting when the goalie's not expecting it, and I think that that's what's uh, giving me success right now. You know, one of the other players that we've really um, been waiting for and looking for, and we need him to take a step forward, is Jake Jackson. And I thought uh, Jake did that on Friday night. You know, he's up to three goals now, and uh, you can just see his confidence growing with that. But it, but his speed, you know, he's always had the speed. You know, he's strong. I uh, can really shoot the puck. It, it's just connecting the dots. And now he's starting to connect those dots, and, and you can see uh, what type of player he can become. Uh, he's got to start working now on consistency and, and doing that every night, not just once in a while and putting games back to back. And I think he'll do that. And like I said, we need him to get going. And, and what I like now is we're getting scoring from a lot of different areas. Uh, you know, Hainanen's got three. Lesperon's got four. Lucini's got four. Jackson's got three. You know, we're starting to share the puck, and goals are starting to come from a lot of different areas. And, and that's what we, we've stressed, is the, the depth of this team is going to be key going forward and will help us have uh, achieve success. This weekend with uh, Nevs and, and Reed, I mean, I was with them earlier in the year, and we were, we were getting a lot of chances, and we just weren't really getting the puck in the net. And now I think this weekend we were, uh, we were playing well together. We are getting the puck deep, getting behind their defensemen, and they're both good skaters. And... We're, we're uh, all on the same page, you know what we're trying to do. Nice pass for Neville. He's got the defenseman. Passed over. Shot. Score! 